All right, this is Big Dog Sporting here. And today we have um, a video about our stage three, 347 small block Ford stroker motor, um, the crate motor action. Um, we did a video about this motor um, a little while ago as far as the building stage. And uh, the motor's finished. The motor's been dynoed, everything has been painted, and you know, um, the appearance has been done up pretty well, uh, according to you know the idea of what the customer had in mind. And the motor is ready to go. Um, the customer's picking this motor up tomorrow. So we thought we would you know, do this little video, basically to show you guys who aren't familiar with um, our work um, and our products. We wanted to go over this particular crate motor because um, it's a good demonstration of what we can do and what we have been doing with parts, with motors and things like that. So this motor, it's a um, factory block 302. That's what the base was. And we went with a complete forged Eagle 347 rotating assembly. Forged pistons, forged rods, um, forged crank, um, ARP bolts throughout the bottom end, ARP bolts for um, the heads, stainless steel bolts for the ported headers. Um, the heads are the Brodix STR um, ported. They flow, they flow, I believe, over 300 um, CFM on the intake and um, over 225 on the exhaust. Uh, we also have the 1.6 roller rocker arms. We have our Stage 3 Max Ported Explorer GT40 manifold. Okay. Now, when we dyno this motor, had this motor dyno. Um, we had different valve covers on it. Okay, the motor went to the dyno facility. It wasn't um, done up like this because we knew it was going to be scratched up and bumped up. So we didn't paint anything. We did that once we got everything back. But the motor dynoed without the one inch spacer. As you see here, it has a one inch spacer to clear the um, valve covers. Okay, that's going to pretty much. Um, cost the motor probably about 10 horsepower on the peak um, but it's also going to gain more low end torque the motor peaked on the dyno well it actually didn't peak on the dyno but the highest number that they you know recorded on the dyno was 542 horsepower at 6600 rpm and the reason why they cut the dyno pretty much short is 6,600 RPM. This motor was designed to rev to 7,000 and it was still making power um, um, before they cut it off. They cut the dyno. Reason why, you know, I guess the dyno operator and owner, they didn't want to chance it because this is a factory block and, and they're not familiar with, you know, um, how this motor was built. So they didn't want to chance causing any damage to their expensive dyno nor to this motor so they cut it off at 6600 rpm which is fine with us because you know it still made um 542 horsepower and 492 foot pounds of torque i think that torque came in about 50 50 200 5100 something like that um but once again um this motor has our stage three uh cam in it Okay, stage three stroke motor cam. Uh, cam has about 585 lift, uh, great duration. We also installed this cam four degrees retard. Okay, um, the intake has a lot of port modifications and welding done to it. We did a lot of welding on the upper or underneath. Um, it was completely cut open. The runners were shortened. Um, 
to like, I think 11, what was it, Lamont, 11, 11 and a half, something like that, 11 and a half, okay, 11 and a half. yeah, so even with the, the one inch spacer, you know, you still, you know, looking at 12 and a half inch long runners, and with our camshaft, our camshafts are designed to really maximize power, you know, without sacrificing um, tunability, okay, um, but even with that retarded four degrees, the car, the, the motor is going to pull just like it would, you know, um, on the dyno. We also have our stainless steel ported shorty headers. Um, those headers flow about 700 CFM per side, um, stainless steel bolts. Um, this combo comes with um, uh, motor oil, two gallons of antifreeze. Um, we have our ported BBK um, 80 millimeter throttle body that flowed uh, right around 1298 CFM on the flow bench. Um, we have a drop in um, distributor. The customer says he has a distributor he wants to use um, on its own, but you know, um, ours will come with a distributor, so we'll probably just keep this distributor he wants to run his own. Um, an 80 millimeter Pro M mass airflow sensor with the high flow cone filter. It comes with spark plugs, as you see. Um, that bag next to the spark plugs on the left hand side, that's the custom um, no burn spark plug wires that we make in house. Um, they have fire sleeves. They have, I believe those are either 8.5 millimeter um, with the angled boots. Um, we have the water neck, the matching water neck for the intake manifold. Um, has a, a stock water pump on it. Um, it was dyno with the water pump. Has the filter. Um, once it came from the dyno shop, we tore it back down to do an inspection. We inspected the cylinders, we inspected the pistons, we inspected the uh, rod bearings, the main bearings, um, um, the cylinder heads, um, or the rocker arms, and then we put fresh gaskets back on it, we torqued everything down, um, got everything up to spec, cleaned it all up. Like I said, the top end part was, was painted with the cosmetics. The intake manifold has a custom 5.7 cover plate on it. Um, painted in red to match the 347 um, valve covers. So it, it's a nice package. Um, this package, this particular package, sold for under 9000 You said what, Lamont? Don't forget about the injectors. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Um, this also comes with 42 pound hour injectors. So you can see the injectors right there. Um, and um, what was I saying before? It don't matter. So <laughs> yeah, this, this motor, this motor, this particular um, crate motor package sold for under $9,000, okay? And you can check around, um, compare prices, and you'll see this is a great value. You get all of this, with the horsepower. Now the customer, you know, wanted the the dyno, um, the motor on the dyno, the dyno results. We already pretty much know what the motor was gonna make because, you know, this is not our first great motor. This is not our first motor that we've built. We've built many motors. Um, we've been doing this uh, individually for a long time. And as a company, we've been doing it you know, for a while now also. So he wanted, you know, it dynoed um, on our Facebook business page and our Instagram page, we posted the dyno numbers. We'll also uh, um, share a link with you guys so you can also follow that to see the dyno numbers yourself, the breakdown. Um, the motor's a strong motor. It's a 10.5 to 1 motor. Um, it was dynoed, I believe, what was it, 93, 94 octane? 94 octane. Um, so that's pretty much uh, it for this video. Um, 
this motor and future motors, we're gonna have videos on some motors that we are um, building for experimental purposes. Well, really they're not experimental to us because we already know what they do. But for you guys, you know, we want to shed some light to what you can do with combos like this with parts that are properly matched and properly portioned.